Do your kids have the After School app? Well, parents and teachers, take a careful look at that logo on the left side of the screen so you can recognize it if you see it. This is a very controversial app right now, and we're going to show you what it's all about. First of all, this is a new anonymous app similar to Yik Yak, Secret, Whisper, and Ask FM. It lets you post anonymously, as you can see on the right-hand side. The main distinguishing feature is that it creates a separate chat group for each school. We're going to show you what that looks like. To join the group, you have to verify that you're a student of the school local to you, and the app will check the information posted on your Facebook page. We're going to show you exactly how to bypass that and how kids are doing that. Now, what's the main issue with this after-school app? Well, the app was launched on October 13th of 2014. It was targeted towards school students, so it was marketed 12 plus, 12 years old and older. Now, the problem with it is in two months, the app gained thousands of users, school students, and opponents, teachers, and parents. As you can see on the right-hand side, there's different schools. We're going to show you exactly how that works. Now, what's the main issue? Well, after a number of complaints, the app was temporarily unavailable in the mobile app stores until they changed the age restriction to 17 plus, which, my friends, it really means nothing, and I'll show you why. Now, the 17 plus age restriction makes the after school app even more controversial, and here's why. It's supposed to not be designed for kids under 17. However, it encourages kids to connect the app with any school they belong to, which could be middle school, high school, or anything else. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, what do real users say about the after school app? Well, somebody in my office was able to pull the first 10 reviews on the Apple Store. Look on the left, number one, don't get this app, one star. Truly disgraceful, one star. Destruction, one star. This is a good app, five stars, four stars. Amazing, five stars. Disgusting, one, one star. Look at this one, number seven is the most important. Porn and cyberbullying, and that really is what this app is all about. And we'll show you in part two of this video all about that stuff. Technical glitches, the hate for this app is real, but dot, 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 amazing. Now look very carefully on the right-hand side of the screen, my friends. Do you see that one star right there? Look how many people gave it one star versus five stars. This has 90 ratings and one star. People are worried about this, and you should be too. Now, the issues for students and their parents. This is what some of the news are saying about it. There's a lot of cyberbullying. There's sexting. There's pornography. There's alcohol, tobacco, drug references. I hate to be a Debbie Downer here and be really negative, but there's a lot of negative stuff on this. Now, what are the issues for schools? Well, schools, people are talking about cutting, killing, guns, bomb threats. And this doesn't come from us. This comes from Forbes and research that we've done. Now, let me talk to you, some issues for schools continued. One user in Michigan posted that he or she was bringing a gun to school, resulting in a police and FBI investigation. Thankfully, the threat wasn't credible. A similar threat occurred in Ohio, and this isn't going to stop. There's links below our, on our blog post at safesmartsocial.com that you can read about, and also below this YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. Now, since the launch, users from more than 14,000 different high schools, let me repeat that, 14,000 different high schools, schools across the U.S. have already downloaded the app. So there's a good chance your kid's school has users on this app. Next, what can teachers and parents do to keep their kids safe? All right, first and foremost, this is really my biggest wish for you is have a dialogue with your kids to see if they're using the app. That's number one, first and foremost, talk with your kids. Number two, this will not work as well. Set an age restriction on your kid's phone as the app is 17 plus. It shouldn't allow your younger kids to download, but I'll tell you what, that's the wrong way to go about this. Trying to restrict your kids doesn't seem to work as much as having a dialogue with them and teaching them about the right and wrong way to use social media. If your kids have this app, number three, Download the app and search for your kid's school group and then monitor the content if there's more than 10 kids. Now, this sounds creepy at first, but I want to show you why and how important it is. And you're doing it to protect your children. So let me show you what that looks like. How to get through the Facebook restriction to join the school group. You cannot activate this app unless your Facebook account shows that you go to a school local. So what I want you to do is consider if you have a Facebook, this seems creepy, but this is that important because there's so much porn, violence, and all kinds of different stuff on here. And I know there's going to be bad comments below this video, by the way. People, kids, when they're watching this video are not going to like what I'm saying about it. Go to your Facebook page, click the about, click on work and education, click add a high school or a middle school school pick your kids school pick the time period of last year so it looks like you still go there or it's recent uh, do not pick next year because it won't look like you go there 
Do not check the graduated button and pick only me so that your friends can't see that you have that listed on your resume. Click Save Changes, then go download the After School app. When you open the app, it says, hey, let's find the nearest school. Pick your nearest school that your kid goes to that you also just added to your Facebook profile. Choose the school group you want to join, which is your kid's school, number three. And number four, click I'm a student. It'll verify with Facebook and it will let you in. It's really that easy. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this. What is the After School app? Comment below. Uh, we need to share this with other people. What are the next steps? Well, you can request a social media safety school assembly. Click number one. I travel the country sharing with tens of thousands of kids every year how they can use social media to impress colleges. I don't want to tell them what not to do. I want to tell them how to use social media for good. Click on number two to join our new social media coach club where we can show you exactly on a weekly and monthly basis how to impress colleges and future employers. You can get an online makeover by clicking number three. You can buy my new book by clicking four or click on the book on the left, Light, Bright, and Polite. How to use social media to impress colleges and employers. So excited to be able to release this to people. Now, if you want to see part number two of this video, click on the logo on the bottom right. We're going to make a not safe for school, not safe for work video that shows you exactly what happens on this app and it's unfortunate it is please do not show it to your kids they may if they're already on the app they're seeing stuff like this i'm josh oaks with safesmartsocial.com i want to thank you for watching this video all the way through this new app is something we all need to look out for as always please keep it light bright and polite have a great day